Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us all come to a gospel. Let us praise the Lord right now. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he's been mighty good. He made ways out of nowhere. Open doors so no man can open. That's right. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. Amen. 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 Uh, I want to, uh, let's all sing this song. No, not one. I believe everyone should know it. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's not a friend like the lowly Hallelujah. No, not one. 
You search all over, you will find nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. The King of kings. Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. You're worthy, Lord. Amen. Amen. Our scripture will be coming from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter, hallelujah, enter, hallelujah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, hallelujah. For the Lord is good, hallelujah. Hallelujah. His mercy is everlasting, and the truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Deacon, Deacon uh, McDuff is coming in. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood that saved me.
was thinking about was when I was young and I was going to, my parents was taking me to church to Easter. And I just remember it all. We always hear old Deacon singing that song on Sunday. Easter Sunday. No, it was the blood. Amen. Amen. Let us look to the throne. Dear Heavenly Father, we truly thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, for blessing and keeping us through another week. We thank you, dear God, for your grace and your mercy that you bestowed upon us through the week. We thank you, God, for protecting us from danger, seen and unseen. We thank you, God, for just waking us up this morning and letting us see another resurrection day that we are able to give you the honor and the praise for not just coming to this world, not just giving us a, a blueprint of how to live in this world, but to die for our sins. And we thank you right now, God, because you didn't have to do it, but you did, dear God. And we give you all the honor and all the praise right now for what you've done for us dear God we ask you dear God to bless this fellowship bless this church gathering dear God bless every member that's here dear God bless the member that's on their way bless the message that's going to be delivered dear God let it be something that will be encouraging so let it be something that be fulfilling to our spirits and we will continue to give you the honor and the praise in Jesus name amen Yeah. 
Today we want to thank God for, for the cross work that He done for us. If it wasn't for Him, we wouldn't be here right now. And I just thank God to just to see another day because none of us didn't have to be here. It was His choice to keep us here, so that means we must still have work to do. So we just thank you, Lord. You're just yes, wonderful. And yes, we just want to yes. say hallelujah to you, Father. You're awesome. You're almighty. Yes, you're all-knowing. Yes, yes, 
and I think that we should stand up and give him some praise today because yeah. he deserves it. Yeah. He deserves all the honor and all the glory. It's not about us, it's about him today. The scripture that he gave me to read today was Matthew chapter 28, 1 through 10, Jesus' resurrection. Amen. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Madeline and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his remnant white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay. And so quickly, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before you to Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre, with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. Yes. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that ye go to Galilee, and there shall there see me. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, God. We honor you, Lord God. You're almighty. You're all-knowing. You're absolutely good. God, we thank you again that you allowed us to be here, Lord Jesus. God, I pray that you will prepare our hearts, Lord God, to hear what you have to say today. And we ask that you will show up today in a mighty way, if it's thy will, Lord God. Work miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord God. And Father God, I pray that somebody will come to know you today. A backslider will return and someone will make you Lord of their life, Lord God. Father, we just thank you again, Lord God. And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.
two announcements today. One, there will be a Zoom meeting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. It's for the 1607 ministry. It will be done on Zoom by Mitt Blue. The Zoom link will be sent to you on Monday. And the second one is please do not lick your envelopes. And now we'll turn the pulpit back over to our pastor, G. Wayne Parker. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody happy to be in church? Anybody happy for real? Resurrection day. Resurrection day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Resurrection Day. Yes. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for his resurrection. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Now we 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 got choir here. Yes. And we got choir helping choir. Yes. Amen. So we're gonna Praise the Lord, son. Amen. All right.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Anybody feel favored this morning? Anybody feel favored by God this morning? Anybody feel favored on this resurrection Sunday morning? Amen. Y'all see the babies up here singing. Join in with them with God favored me. Amen. When it's genuine. Love abused, love abused. Manipulated. manipulated, and its strength misused. Strength misused. But, I but I can't help but give God glory, give glory. When, I when I think about the story. And I know. Favorite me because my enemies did try but couldn't triumph over me. Yes, they did try. Now that we know the words, let's do it again, okay? is felt most when it's genuine
Praise the Lord. Let's give the choir a hand. The wonderful job. Wonderful job. How many realize God loves us? Amen. No matter how you're feeling, no matter what's being whispered to your ear, God loves you. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Do we have uh, any visitors today? Yes, would you stand? Give your name, whatever God lays on your heart. Yeah. David, so happy to meet you, David. Amen. 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 Someone else? My name is Sean Brown, and I'm visiting with my great uncle Alan. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. And I am Tasha, his wife, and this is our grandson, King. Amen. Excellent. Let's give God some praise for all of our visitors. On this resurrection day. Yeah. Amen. This is another day that the Lord has made. Yes. Let us rejoice yes. and be glad in Hallelujah. it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody happy? Yes. Amen. I said, anybody happy for real? How many realize God can give you a peace and a joy that the world can't take from you? Amen? Hallelujah. And so no matter how you feel in your body, we can still praise him. We can still praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, it's prayer time. Those who desire prayer can stand to your feet. Amen. God, we bless you today. We bless you, God, and we honor you on today. We thank you, Lord God, for this Resurrection Sunday. We know, Lord God, what that means to us. We know, God, that because you had a son and because you desired family, that you sent your son for us, Lord God. And that one day, Lord God, when he came, he served. And when it was time for him to serve in the greatest way, he went through all these things. He laid on the cross. They nailed him to it. He hung high. We looked upon it. God, they mocked and scourged and spit upon him. And God, they didn't break anything in his body. But he gave up the ghost. And he went to the grave. And he slept there, God, three days for us. God, we thank you for that. It was three days, God, that he slept, but on that third day, God, you woke him up. You raised him from the dead. Yes. God, for us, you did that, and we're very grateful, God. We thank you, Lord God, for all the cross work. We thank you, Lord God, for all the lessons Christ left before he went to the cross. And God, because of the cross and all he endured, God, we're healed by that. We have gained eternal life because of it. If we put our faith and our trust in Jesus Christ. God, we thank you for this opportunity to be together in corporate worship. We know, Lord God, that people have all kinds of things going on in their mind, in their bodies, in their families, in finance. 
God, you know all of it. You're not missing out on any part of anything concerning anybody. And we thank you for that, God. We thank you, Lord, that we can bring every care and every concern to you, Lord God. That we can bring it to the cross and we can leave it there. Trusting and believing in your power and in the favor we just sang about. God, we said we have this favor. Let us walk in the favor we believe that we have, God, in Christ Jesus. God, there's somebody here under the sound of my voice who do not know Jesus. And we pray, God, that today they will come to his saving knowledge. God, that they won't leave here the way they came in, but they will leave with a Savior who has resurrected them to eternal life. We bless you, God, for this privilege and opportunity. We lift up, Lord God, everybody in the sanctuary today. We lift up those, Lord God, who could not be here today, but had a desire to be here. We lift up those, Lord God, who are in hospitals, Lord God, who are home, Lord God, on bed rest, can't come out anymore, God. We lift up families who have lost loved ones, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, your comforting spirit in the name of Jesus to be with them, Lord God, to grant them peace and comfort in the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord God, for all the power that you have. That same power belongs to us. And God, we give you glory and thanks for it. We lift up our pastor to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we pray his continual strength in you, God. That you would look on him day in and day out. And not just him, God, but his help me. His pudding, God, the one who gives him no trouble. God, we ask that you, Lord God, would bless them both and that you would continue to keep them, Lord God, and cover them and their family, Lord God, and give them strength day by day in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you and honor you for this opportunity of prayer, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for being able to intercede on our behalf deeper than what I can utter. We thank you, God, for it. And God, for anything that I miss, God, you know all about it. And we pray, Lord God, that you would do the thing that only you can do. God, we trust you with that right there like that. Because, God, some things we just can't even remember to say. But Jesus knows it all. We thank you and we love you today, God. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. And I ask that you would forgive each one of us of all of our sin. Amen. Amen. the Lord. I just got one quick card to read. Amen. It says, thank you, Pastor Parker and the Bible Way family. Every prayer, call, text, message, gift, acts of kindness, love expressed. It was appreciated more than you know. Pastor Parker and the Constellation Ministry positioned themselves as the Lord led. My mother was a godly woman and lived a powerful life, so I give thanks for her life. Thank you, Pastor, and thank you, Bible Way family. We love you, the Unoko family. Now it's time to prepare our hearts for the here to preach word coming from one of our ministers. He's a young minister. I'm sorry, everybody. I was reading what I saw. I'm sorry, Pastor Paul. No, don't be sorry. He's still young. He's still young. <laughs> that you are. You still look young, and you are young. <laughs> I'm sorry. The word will be coming from our pastor, our young, wonderful pastor. Amen. <laughs> 
Pastor G. Wayne Parker, prepare your hearts to receive what the Lord has to say to you. But before he comes, there will be a selection from the Young People's Choir. Amen. Amen.
to die for So you sacrificed your life So I could be free So I could be whole So I could tell everyone I know You died worth saving give God some praise for the choir doing such a wonderful job. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let us bow in the word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we come in the precious name of Jesus. And God, we come thanking you. Thank you, God, for all that you've done for us. What you've done in the past and what you're doing right now, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for what you're going to do in the future. And God, we realize that you died for us. We thank you. Now, God, we know we need a word from you. We ask that you would bless your word. Ask that you would speak through 
your manservant. We come against pride and arrogancy in every evil way in the name of Jesus. We say, have your will and have your way. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Again, we greet you on this Resurrection Day. Amen. Amen. Happy Resurrection Day. And we pray that everyone in the house has received Christ. We pray. If not, we pray that you won't leave here Amen. without receiving Christ Amen. as your Lord and Savior. And we want to read three passages of Scripture. The first coming from Matthew, Matthew 26. Thank you, Lord. Matthew 26, verses 30 through 32. If you have it, say amen. amen. And the word of God reads, and when they had sung an hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, hallelujah, but after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And take a look at Romans Chapter 8, Romans 8, verses 33 and 34. Do you have it? And the Word of God reads, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us. Amen. 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 And one more scripture we would like to read. Philippians, Philippians 3, verses 8 through 10. Philippians 3. 8 through 10. Do you have that? Amen. Amen. And the word of God reads, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win 
Christ and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made comfortable, conformable unto his death. Let me read that. I want to read that again. Being made conformable unto his death. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And from God's well of wisdom through and by the Holy Spirit, God has given us this message titled, The Resurrection. The Resurrection. Thank you, Lord. On this very special Sunday, the day referred to as Easter Sunday, Easter, God would have us understand the fullness of Christ's resurrection and the emptiness of the tomb. Amen. As Christians, we know and believe that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rose from the dead. As we study the scriptures, we find that Jesus never made mention of his death without making mention of his resurrection. Amen. He said, destroy this temple. And in three days, I'll raise it up. Amen. He said to the disciples, I will be smitten. But after I'm risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Amen. Our Savior did indeed rise from the dead. Amen. If you don't know the importance of that, you need to give him some praise anyhow. Our Savior rose from the dead, from the dead. Amen. Our Savior did indeed rise from the dead. It was witnessed and counted, not only in the Bible, but historians like Josephus wrote about it. But what was the significance? What was so significant and extraordinary about his resurrection? I say his resurrection because others had risen. Others had been raised from the dead, even in the Old Testament. Elijah stretched his body over the widow's son and he came alive. Amen. Amen. Elijah prayed over a child. He sneezed and his eyes opened. One man was thrown into the grave of Elijah 
And when his body touched Elijah's bones, he became alive. Amen. In the New Testament, Jesus raised Jairus' daughter. People laughed and he put them out. And let me stop and say, if you are praying, we pray by faith. And if you have someone praying with you, you want them praying in faith. Amen. If there's anyone around you laughing Jesus. and joking around, I would do the same thing Jesus did. Put them out. Amen. Amen. Jesus stopped the funeral procession and resurrected the widow's son. He called Lazarus out of the grave. Amen. Even Peter raised Dorcas. So what makes the resurrection of Christ so awesome and so significant? In order to understand the awesomeness of Christ's resurrection, we must first define death. What, what is death? Well, there is the physical death. Physical death is when your spirit is separated from your body. The real you. The body then ceases to function. And this is known as physical death. Thank you, Lord. When this occurs, our bodies go back to the dust. You have to say earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Physical death is the death we are most familiar with. Yet there is a much higher dimension of death. And that would be spiritual death. Spiritual death. Spiritual death is the absence of God's spirit from our human spirit. Actually, if God's spirit is not in you, you're already dead. Spiritually. You're dead. You're animated, you're physical. But if God is not in you, you are dead. Amen. Amen. We were born dead men, dead women walking. Amen. Amen. Spiritual death is the absence of God's spirit from our human spirit. When Adam sinned on that very day, he died spiritually, not physically. He lived to be 930 years old, talking about in the physical. But spiritually, he died on that very day that he sinned. The Spirit of God withdrew from his spirit. And Adam was physically alive, but spiritually dead. Everybody with me? Amen. After that, which is known as the fall of man, every human 
born in this world, except Jesus Christ, was born dead in spirit, separated from God, spiritually dead. The Bible says in Adam all died. And that's saying all that were born of Adam's loins from Adam's loins, keep going down, all coming out of Adam and Eve. All these people were born dead. Hallelujah. So anyone who was brought back to life before Jesus died, before he died on the cross for us, they were only revived or resurrected physically, not spiritually. Amen. So you wonder what the difference is between Jesus' resurrection and those that came before him? They were all still spiritually dead. They were all still separated from God. Everybody with me? Amen. Amen. That's why the word declares us born in sin and shapen in iniquity. We were born spiritually dead, separated from God. How many realize when you were born, you were born dead? Amen. Amen. You were spiritually dead. God was not a part of you because of the fall of Adam. And because we came out of the loins of Adam, we were born spiritually dead. Example, if a person was in a terrible accident and showed no vital signs of life, if that person is resuscitated and begin to breathe, if that person is not connected to God through Jesus Christ, they are still dead spiritually. Amen? A person must be spiritually connected to God to be spiritually alive. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, when Jesus was resurrected, he was resurrected spiritually and physically. Amen. 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 And that's the difference. Yes. Jesus on the cross, he was both man and God. First, he, he died spiritually. He said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? And understand this. They could have stabbed him a hundred times, beat him unmercifully, which they did, and nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened if he had not died. And you could not kill him. Amen. Amen. You couldn't kill him. He gave his life. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. hallelujah. He gave his life. So first, yes, he died spiritually. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? The God part left the human spirit. If this had not happened, he could not possibly have died. Why? Because the everlasting father had to leave him in order for him to die. 
when the scriptures say he gave up the ghosts, that's when he died physically. Human spirit left. A human spirit left the body. After he was dead three days, the Spirit of God came back. Amen. I said, after he had died and was in the grave three days, the Spirit of God shot back into that body. Amen. 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 And not only did it go into the body, it raised him up from the grave. Amen. So he was spiritually and physically alive. This means that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the God-man, was the first man to be resurrected from a spiritual death. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? All others had only been raised physically, so they were still spiritually dead. Everybody with me? So the great and awesome significance about his resurrection was that he was the first man to gain victory over spiritual death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He conquered death. And he totally conquered it. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Jesus took the sting out of it. He was the first man after the fall of Adam to be reconnected to God the Father. He arose from the dead and we serve a risen Savior. Hallelujah. Christians don't serve a dead God. Christians don't serve something made of wood or stone. We serve a risen Savior. Thank you, Lord. So if Jesus paid for our sins and is again connected with God, the Father, if we connect with him, we are also back with the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me read it again. So if Jesus paid for our sins mm -hmm. and is again connected with God the Father, if we connect with him, we are also back with the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Jesus didn't say, I am a way. Hallelujah. He said, I am the way. Thank you, Lord. Only one way to get to him. You try to get to him apart from Jesus and you're not going to make it. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the lamb of God. He took away the sin of the world. He was our substitute. What do you mean, Pastor? Do you know what substitute is? Someone that goes in someone else's place. All of us should have gone. All of us should have gone. 
but he took that place. When, when he died, he died for you. And he died for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He died on the cross. The sin debt was paid. Thank God for his death. Anybody want to thank him? Thank you, Lord. But what, what if there had been no resurrection? When he died, suppose there had been no resurrection. The word says, if there be no resurrection, if we only have hope in him without the resurrection, we would still be miserable. Hallelujah. The penalty, you see, the penalty, the whole penalty was death. Hallelujah. And he died, but not only did he die, he got up. He proved he had power over death. Thank you, Lord. The word says, there is no resurrection. If there is no resurrection, we would be miserable still. Why? Because the full hope of Christianity is that we beat death. Thank you, Lord. Anybody in the house beat death? We do it our communion. We say, death comes and sees the blood and death passes over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God I beat death. Thank God you beat death. Thank you, Lord. And that ought to give us a new mind. When we see Christians laid before us in what we call a casket, if that is a genuine Christian, that person is not dead. Amen. Amen. To be absent from the body Amen. is to be present with the Lord. Amen. That ought to give you new mind. Amen. If you got a relative or a friend who's gone on to be with the Lord, if they accepted Jesus Christ, they did not die. Amen. Hallelujah. In the casket would a body would be a body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The full hope of Christianity is to beat death and find new life in him because he beat death. Thank you, Lord. When he got up, when he rose on the third day, that was the proof of our hope. He proved that in him we have conquered the enemy of death. Thank you, Lord. Victory over death. His death paid the price. A sinless human. His burial sealed that death. Died like a criminal. Buried in a rich man's grave. But his resurrection proved out his promise, I'll get you out of Satan's prison. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus was saying, if you come to me, if you come through me, I'll get you out of Satan's prison. Satan's death prison. 
Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. If there were no resurrection, it would be like having your bail paid and charges dropped, but you still can't come out. Hallelujah. If it were not for the resurrection, Amen. stick with me. If it were not for the resurrection, it would be like having your bail paid, no charges, but you still have to stay in. If Jesus had not risen from the grave, like he said he would, Christianity would be another hoax. A religion, a religious offering, something that never, or was never ever proven, just another so-called religion. But Jesus said what he would do to prove he was who he was. He said, I'll rise again. Amen. I'll rise again. Now, now, you cannot find another man like Jesus. Amen. Yes, people rose from the dead, but not like Jesus. Jesus rose with the spirit in him. He arose. He arose. His word is good. Amen. I believe it. Does anybody else believe it? I believe his word. I believe the word of God. He can't lie. Thank you, Lord. Someone said, well, I don't believe you. And that's your privilege. Amen. That's your privilege. I, I hope that's not true. But you have a will, and the will was not taken from you. Right. You do not have to receive Jesus Christ Amen. as right. your Savior. Right. 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 Amen. What kind of preaching is that? Jesus. It's the truth. It's the truth. Amen. I would not tell anybody that they have to choose Jesus. I would not tell anyone that they have to go to heaven. Amen. Because the truth is you don't have to. Amen. The truth is you, you can choose not to go. How many with me? And, and why, why is that true? Why is that true? If it had not been that way, it would not have been of love. Amen. Love gave you the privilege. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Love gave you a choice. Yes. Yes. Love gave you a will and wouldn't let it be taken. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Who was that one clap? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So it's what, whatever you, you choose to do with your will. God himself won't make you. Huh? But we believe by faith. He said, I'll rise again. He arose. He arose. I said he arose. 
Amen. And if he arose like he said he would, he's coming back. Like he said he would. Amen. I believe the word of God. God cannot lie. Thank you, Lord. He says, I am the resurrect and the light. The resurrection and the light. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Hallelujah. Shall never die. But what about the casket thing? I told you about that. To be absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. It looked like death, but it's not death. He said, of all that the Father gives him, he will lose none. Thank you, Lord. He said, no man can pluck his children out of his hand. Hallelujah. He said, those that accept him are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise till the day of redemption. Amen. He said, all true Christians, we have an inheritance. Hallelujah. Eternal, eternal inheritance. He said, I give you eternal life. Perpetual life. Life, life without breach, break, or any interval. That's what I give you if you choose to follow me, if you choose to receive me. Well, I don't want to receive you. Then that's your business. Amen. Amen. That's the way it is. He said you choose. Like stepping out, over here I see bad, and over here I see good. And I make a choice where I want to be forever. And I, by my will, I choose. By my will, I chose. Amen. I said, by my will, I chose. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you eternal life. Then he says, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. Not only is he going to give you eternal life, it's going to be this oneness. Amen. There'll be a oneness that won't change. Uh, and that's what I chose. I said, that's what I chose. Amen. I, I like that. Amen. If someone doesn't like that, that's your business. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But I would tell you, more than likely, there's somebody in your family who wasn't tricked. Amen. They chose the same. Hallelujah. If I had it to do all over again, I'd choose again. I'd choose again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will never leave you nor forsake you. We are kept by the power of God. Hallelujah. I believe God. I believe in the proof of the resurrection. You can't keep a Christian down. No grave clothes. Kept on us. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Amen. Grave, where is thy victory? Death can't keep us in the ground. When we die physically, our spirits 
don't get locked in a casket. Amen. Our spirits are not held in a cold grave. Thank you, Lord. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Our proof is the resurrection of Christ. When our bodies die physically, there's nothing left but shell. Uh -huh. Our spirits are somewhere with the Lord. Yeah, right. But that's not all. Amen. The word said we have the joy yeah. that benefit. Yes, it does. Amen. Amen. Benefit of resurrection now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have the benefit of the resurrection yeah. now. Yeah. Because he rose from the grave, I can live in victory. We have resurrection power. Amen. We have been planted in the likeness of his death. We should live in the likeness of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Romans says, because we are now in Christ. The old man has been crucified yeah. with Christ yeah. that the body of sin might be destroyed. Yeah. For he that is dead is free yeah. from sin. Yeah. Now if we be dead with Christ, mm -hmm. we believe that we shall also live with him. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, when we invited Jesus Christ into our life, resurrection power came. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I say resurrection power came. Yeah. Hallelujah. Get up power came. Yeah. Victory power came. Get up and out of the grave power came. Sin has no more dominion over us. When we choose Christ. But the question is. Have you received. The resurrection. Or are you still. Laying in a tomb. Of dead works. Thinking. You can't get up. Come out. Of the tomb. Hallelujah. If we. Be risen with Christ. Yeah. We must seek those things which are above. Yeah. Where Christ is sitting. Amen. Amen. Set our affections on things above. Amen. Not on things on the earth. Yeah. For we are dead. Oh man. And our life. That new person is hid with Christ in God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is telling us yeah. that resurrection power is in every Christian yeah. Yeah. because the Holy Spirit is in us. Yeah. Amen. But but have you have you understood the resurrection and the resurrection power? That's in you. You have made him the Savior and Lord of your life. There's power in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's power that will work out of you. Yes. Let him fill you. Yes. Hallelujah. I said, let him fill you. Yes. Yes. Let yes. that power over. Take over. Paul says that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. Thank you, Lord. Do you know him and the power of his resurrection? Not just his death on the cross, but the power of his resurrection. He got up. Hallelujah. And he, he brought me up when he got up. When he got up. We were left, we were not left in the old grave. 
Hallelujah. We were not the same person. Hallelujah. We were new creatures. Hallelujah. How many know you are a new creature? How many know you're not the same? And because of the resurrection, we live forever. We live forever. Our Savior didn't tell a lie. He said, in three days, I'll get up. In three days, I'll get up. Hallelujah. Did our Jesus get up from the grave? Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give him some praise. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Conquer death. Conquer death in the grave. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving Wayne Parker, a wretch. Hallelujah. But not only that, you gave me power. Hallelujah. Because when you got up from that grave, hallelujah, you showed me you had all power, even power over death. Hallelujah. And, and then said to me, I will never leave you. Hallelujah. I'll be free with you always. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What an awesome Savior. What an awesome Savior. Hallelujah. This is a powerful resurrection. Hallelujah. Powerful resurrection. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me say this. To new, renew your mind, uh -huh. your thinking ought to be different. Yes. Amen. When you are at a, what we call a funeral uh -huh. of one that has received Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. If that one has received Jesus Christ, they also have the power of the resurrection. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You should be not be afraid of physical death. You should not be afraid of going from here, transitioning from here and being with him. Because this is just a shell. And the real you is the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So until he calls us, we got a purpose. Amen. Until he calls you, you have a purpose, and that's why you're still here. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. And when it's time for him to come back, it's time for him to come back. Amen. And if he comes back and I'm still here, I'm going out of here with him. Amen. Amen. When he comes to the rapture, I'm going to be with him. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is there anyone in the house, anyone in the house who's not sure of your salvation. I already mentioned to you that you have a choice. You have a will that cannot be disturbed, taken from you. And it's up to you to choose. Is there someone here who chooses Jesus Christ as your savior? Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Is everyone here sure that if something would take place in this physical body dies, that your spirit would go and be with the Lord? There's no more chance after this breath here. Amen. So you make the choice as to whether or not you have received Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. Amen. 
Is everyone sure of your salvation? Everybody understand the resurrection? Amen. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Praise God. No one will have an excuse. No one will have an excuse. Thank you. I pray that everyone here goes to be with the Lord. Amen. That's my desire. Amen. 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 I don't want to go by myself. Huh? Amen. I won't. <laughs> Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Would you stand? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And would you hold your offering? offering will be given to the ushers as you go out. Let's bow in a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we come in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you so much for this day and this opportunity. We especially thank you for Resurrection Day. Thank you that you got up out of the grave. You conquered death for us. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, God, we ask that you would bless this offering which you've given to us. We give back a portion to you as you ask of in your word. We ask that you would bless it and that it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Let's look to the Lord. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now and forevermore. Let the church say amen. 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 God bless you.